often it has been seen that our programmers find it very much challenging to create any application using shiny package in R. So in this video we are going to see how to create a very simple application maybe it is a histogram or maybe it is a box plot that too using shiny app. So we are going to see how to build this application in which you just specify any numeric variable from the drop down box and you get a histogram of that variable. In this video we will also see how to create interactive box plot. We are going to build shiny application brick by brick. So first of all, let's begin from creating the new file. In the new file, either you can create just two files, ui.r and server.r or you have one option over here in RStudio of creating directly the template of shiny web app. So I'm going to do that. So click on shiny web app. Then you will find that there is a prompt asking you to give the name of the application. So you can give the name of the application with the desired directory. Either you can have the application in a single file or you can have application in two different files. Over here for the sake of understanding, we are going to have the application in two different files. So that's why I'm going to click on multiple file and then I'm going to name my application as hist as I'm going to create it for histogram. So I will click on create, which will create automatically two files ui.r and server.r. You can check out these files whether they have been loaded or not in the corresponding folder. As you see that this is a template which already has got one application coded. Over here we have a default application in which one geezer data set has been loaded and uh, you just change the bins uh, for the histogram. What we are going to do is we are going to create our own app. Hence we require to modify the script given in this particular function called fluid page so given on the board over here is the app which we plan to build so as you see in this app we are having the title of histogram then we have a drop down box which we call it over here select input then we are having the graph area which is a plot output area so let us code with this so as you see we have to have the title as histogram hence we require to customize this to histogram then in the sidebar panel we don't want the behavior of slider input but we want the behavior of select input so hence we have select input and with the select input I specify the input ID of the select input that is the drop down box. I specify it as var name. Then what we require is to show the label. Label is the text which is shown near the drop down box. So we need to specify it with the label attribute. Hence you see that we have written this label attribute. Now we require to specify what values we intend to have in this drop down box we can do that with choices choices argument hence choices is equal to we require to have it in list as syntax expects it that from us so we can select any of the variables which are there let's say that we are taking some variables from empty cars data set 
so hence I can specify some variables which I want as a part of my application hence I have typed all my variables and now I have closed this select input bracket here we need to understand that fluid page function contains two arguments so at place of the first argument we have specified the title which is uh, histogram and the second argument basically happens to be sidebar layout okay sidebar layout is the same layout which we are thinking over here with title different now in the sidebar layout we see one thing that sidebar panel which is particularly this element in which we are having just one control one input control which is select input or drop down box as we call and we have specified this drop down box with select input where we have named it as var name and the choices which we are giving and as a second argument we require main panel now over here we require to accordingly name it in a relevant manner over here I want to name it as histogram over here for your understanding I have named it with the keyword output ID which is its original one now we turn towards server.r over here we require to modify our code you see one thing that our output ID which we have named it as histogram so as per the program we have named this one as histogram and this one as var name accordingly we require to call them in our server.r so we as we turn towards server.r first of all you will understand that server.r contains one anonymous function called inside it with the two arguments input and output input happens to be that argument which can handle the input controls and output for output controls now our output control in our application happens to be histogram hence we require to specify in the output output so output dollar you see histogram you will find one nice thing that as you have given the output control name over here when you press dollar when you press dollar automatically the histogram will be the name of histogram will be prompted now for delivering the output to this output control histogram there is a function called render plot in which you need to code for the histogram we require to modify this code we will modify this code completely I will rub this and replace it with the code of my histogram now as you see histogram can be generated with the function hist as you already know with the column specified now the column which is to be specified will be coming from the control of var name okay so accordingly we require to change it means we require to specify that particular column dynamically so first of all I will load the data frame which is there and with the loaded data frame I will call this data frame over here I require to pass it for columns so comma I will put so that all rows will be included and the var name now var name you require to call it using the input object input dollar var name so having done this let's save the two files and now let's try it with run app button you will find that the application has got created 
over here we can test it by giving any of our variables of our choice and hence the histogram has been created accordingly some few things required to be done about this histogram one of them is the title which is not a customized one and also the x-axis label let's do that accordingly as you see that I have specified that in main title in main and xlab over here you find that I have made use of paste function what we want to do is we want to dynamically append this with or concatenate the string with the with the title of our choice hence I used paste function it won't be required with xlab well so hence I save it and now I test it hence now my application is done as you see it's ready now well you are free to add any of the properties to it of your choice like the color of the bars or anything else like that well well now what if you want to do similar thing for a box plot we can easily modify the existing program whenever you want to modify any program my suggestion is create a new folder accordingly with the new program so let's name this folder as box plot and copy paste these two files and let's make these two files available for our application so accordingly as you see that we are going to now modify our code for box plot so I now change everything related to that let us now not modify this particular input select input function well as I have changed this name to box plot similarly over here I require to call that object of box plot with output dollar that box plot and the box plot function accordingly needs to be called here with everything else changed so hence it's all set let's save this up and test the application hence we have got this application well altogether let us understand this code we have the anonymous function called here with input and output input is for input controls as I said and output is for the output control over here as you see that this input this input and this input this is getting captured from the select input so what is happening is the two objects namely input well and the output are the objects communicating between server.r and ui.r as you can understand thanks for watching this video the program files created in this video will be made available in my github account and the link of which will be given in the description box if you like this video please don't forget to click the like button and also for latest updates from me subscribe to my channel thank you